Hello, real quick one. Um, study lesson time. Acts 21. I'm going to go through it real fast. Y'all can read yourselves. Acts 21. So Paul comes down to go to Jerusalem. Remember, he took carriages. Remember, Jesus says, just take the clothes on your back. Anyway, he stayed the first night with Manson. M-N-A-S-O-N. That's almost kind of like my brother's initials, M-N, and my name, Jason. Well, Jason, if you read in the book of Acts in another chapter, throughout was dragged out of his house because they thought Paul and Barnabas was there. Either way, let's go back to Acts 21. So the first night, they stay there. Then the next day, it says, us went to James. Us, meaning probably Luke, because he's writing the book, the physician for Rome. Well, they went to James. And James called Paul out here, as you clearly see. Oh, they're saying that you preach against this temple, against the word of God, and this and that. Right? Well, you got to purify yourself. So Paul agreed to do a ritual. Well, we see, as it is written, almost the week was over. Almost is a funny word. You got to think, Luke, being a physician, walking with Paul. Remember Luke in the book of Acts? No, he was there at the beginning um, when Peter and all of them you know, was trying to create this kingdom, per se. And taking notes of that, and later wind up in Rome, you know, he was there halfway through the book with Peter and halfway the book with Paul. So he has to be very careful how he writes because he's reading this back to Paul. Remember, his eye was all jacked up, and probably his hand too, I think. Remember what it says in the Old Testament that came from Tarsus? Well, anyway, so, um, remember all the people from Asia who believe in God, in the temple, in Jesus Christ? Remember in Revelation, Ephesus, the church, where they said, we found these apostles to be liars, Okay. Anyway, they drove Paul out of the temple, locked the gates. And you know the funny thing in this story here in 21 is I know some big boys. I've seen some bad gangs around. You know, if they got a hold of Paul, they beat the living hell out of him within a minute or two. But conveniently, the Roman guards were there to take him. Okay, and remember what the Roman guards said. Aren't you that Egyptian that took the 4,000 out in the wilderness? I'm doing this off the top of my head, but you can read it. Yeah, what he's trying to say there, remember Jesus went down to Egypt when he was a child, and he fed the four and 5,000 out in the wilderness? You see the mockery going on here? And Paul says, oh, I'm from a good place. I'm, like, special. You see? See how they twisted it? So, and remember Jesus came in Jerusalem on an ass and they all say, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Anyway, so imagine Paul, who stirred up all Jerusalem, riding around because he's in the temple. And the guards give him the right to speak in front of these people. Wouldn't that create more chaos? Or... He was in their back pocket all along. He said, speak. Think about that. And as is written, he spoke Hebrew and everybody got silent. Well, wouldn't you think everybody know who he is, Paul? I mean, wasn't he taught by 
Galileo or whatever his name was back in the day. You would think Paul had been around Jesus Christ town when Jesus was out there preaching the word, huh? Remember the Pharisees and the Sadducees just always on Jesus when he was spreading the word? Well, you will think, well, he's Jewish, right? Or he's a Benjamin Knight. Um, uh, no, he's a Pharisee. No, he's a Sadducee. He's a Jew. He's a Roman. Anyway, you see, they took him up to Rome, and they had a guard there where he preached. I remember in Ephesus when he was there and trying to talk and teach the Jews, I guess, the word? And they said, mm -mm, you're full of crap. So, study Acts 21, and you see the hypocrisy, the lies by Paul. Because Jesus is true. I love you all. Good night.